Previously on Rivals. Kenny, Evan, and Wes's plan to get rid of CT was foiled by Kenny's terrible performance at the hammock crawl challenge, forcing him and Wes into the jungle. I feel like I have this black cloud over me. Kenny has once again proven that he's the weakest link. During the deliberation, underdogs Brandon and Ty were selected to face Kenny and Wes. At the going up jungle, Wes carried his team to victory. Sending Brandon and Ty home. Does everyone trust me to remember the rule? Hi. Each card has a different rule. Ace is waterfall. Ace! Hey. 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 We're about halfway through the game. So tonight, everybody decides we're going to party, we're going to have fun. The category is things that Michael would say <laughs> while having sex. Right. I love crop seeds. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a crush on Jen for about three years now. Every time Jen walks in a room, I want to kiss her. Every time. Love you and adore you. Kiss my Adam King. On a scale from one to ten, Jen's like a 14. Five. Oh, you're oh. five jives. Start dancing. Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to the Challenge Rivals. This is going to be a recap of episode five which starts off with the house having a little fun playing a drinking game and Adam being a weirdo saying he's had a crush on Jen for like three years now and it's like bro you're a grown-ass man like what are you doing I can tell her and if she doesn't like you move on idiot uh, then we have the greatest scene in challenge history and I would pay good money to see this uncensored footage because the girls decide that they're gonna go skinny dipping you going skinny dipping? We're in Costa Rica. You live once, and sometimes you just need to forget about the game, throw off your dirty clothes, and jump in the pool naked. All you stupid boys, get in the pool! <laughs> Underwater ball. Jen, it's really, really hot. Really, really hot. Yeah! No top slot. <laughs> My mother is Life is good, that's all I gotta say. Tyler right now is probably the luckiest guy in Costa Rica. That's my man. That's my partner. That's gonna be a devastating deduction. Hmm, what? What are we ha what's happening? What are we talking about? Yes. Yes to all of this. I mean, come on. <laughs> this is a top notch quality TV right here. I don't care. You're weird. I'm not weird. So, from what I heard, Jen talk about people, but can't say them to their face. If I could change one quality about Jasmine, it would be her negativity. If you think that everybody's against us, they will be. She's a negative Debbie Downer. All well, I'm trying to say is, no, I've been oh, up front. Oh, wait, 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 you what? let me finish my sentence. If I could change one quality about Janae, it would be, she's kind of turned into a bit of a bitch. I can't, I'm I can't. listening to you, Johnny. No, 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 no. Don't. Tell I've tried. Tell you have cut me off me. every time. Be, be real with I'm me. I'm trying, John A. You don't let me talk. Can I get five okay. words out? Ready. Talk, Jasmine. Okay. Back on track here. Um, moving past the naked ladies, we have Jasmine and John A. trying to just have a conversation with each other. But they just keep interrupting each other. And it just goes downhill from there. Name a time, but go ahead and talk. Right now, I'm letting you finish no, your statement. No, go ahead and talk. I have nothing to say. Yeah, I'm, you're not gonna let me finish. Like, I but just, you're I don't know how to handle to you. Two years I haven't spoken to you because I can't handle this. Oh, done. What's done. done, Jasmine? The conversation? Yeah, no, keep your mic on, Jasmine. Keep your mic on. Whoa. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Get me out of here! 
Being on this challenge isn't easy. Every day you might go home, you're tested physically, emotionally. Everyone's got a breaking point, and Jasmine just reached that point. She wants out. And I don't think Jasmine was actually mad at John A at this point. I think she's just having a full-on mental breakdown. And it's understandable. It's her first season on the show. Um, she's probably barely slept. She's been drinking a bunch, like, every single night. Uh, she banged Tyree, like, cheating on her boyfriend. I mean, she's just, she's just going through it right now. I mean, she's so into this argument that she's just continuing to argue with John A while being carried by Evan like a little child. But eventually, she does calm down and her and John A do make up and uh, before the start of the challenge, which we will get to right now. Okay, guys, today you're playing against the current. Yeah! It's gonna go down like this. You have to paddle upstream as hard as you can without coming out of the zone. Once you get pushed out of the zone, turn the boat around and you're gonna bomb all the way to the finish line. So it's a race. We're gonna subtract your time from the top. It's your time from the bottom. The team with the lowest accumulated time will win today's challenge. That was a pretty good challenge for the day. I think this would be really fun to actually compete in. And it's a girls' day, so it's a little bit more important for the girls. So let's just see how this plays out. I start digging in and pulling myself upstream. Adam takes his paddle and he acts like he's frosting a cake. Come on, dig it by Adam! Put your hands on the paddle and dig it! This river is tough. I've never been in a kayak. I feel like the water is getting the best of me at this point. As a ladies, all right, girls, you ready? Nice. And we're just gonna keep fighting through this. I'm doing all the paddling and the boat's turning every way I want it to go, but she's not doing anything to correct it. Come on, I can't do this alone. I'm lucky enough to get to see Sarah and Caitlin race through the rapids. When I tell you they're bad, what I really mean is awful. behind me and Sarah is nowhere to be found. And I'm scared to death. I have no idea where Sarah is. I look down river, she's not down river. I'm worried that my friend is drowning right now underneath my kayak. Um, is Sarah dying right now? Like this, this bitch just disappeared under the rapids. And I feel like people should have been freaking out way more. Sucked under that boat, and I'm thinking, okay, fine, we got this. Let's just paddle our way to the end. I cross the finish line, and I turn around, and Caitlin's stuck between a rock and a rapid. I don't know what happened, but all I know is I got to cross that finish line with her. So what do I have to do? Swim back upstream and pull her out. Are you both happy with them? Yeah. yeah. Oh, never mind. Um, Sarah almost drowned, but Caitlin is so fucking bad that she's the one who needed saving, apparently. I mean, I don't want to be mean, but I don't think Caitlin should have ever come on this show. I don't think she was ever cut out for the challenge. 
And now that the challenge is done, uh, for the guys, Johnny and Tyler take home the dub, and for the girls, the big win goes to motherfucking Jen and Mandy. Like, what? Looking at this challenge, you would assume it'd be like Evelyn or Paula, maybe uh, Kara and Laurel winning this one. But no, it's fucking Psycho Jen and Horseface Mandy getting it done. So good for them. And of course, Sarah and Caitlin, who DQ'd, uh, they are automatically going into elimination. Beth, you said you know how everyone's voting for already? Yeah. Me? Yeah. Okay. I mean, the guys made their decision in the guy deliberation last time. Mm -hmm. Like, the second you didn't go with the group. We're gonna vote for... Honestly, you just made a big target on your back, and I don't understand why. Why? Why? Yeah, I just want to give you at least a slap on the wrist to say there's no rage against the machine in this house. John A's a rookie. She didn't quite get it, but I think she gets it now. I'm running the house, and unless you have the power to change the minds of everybody in it, you might as well just start voting with me. And when the group gets back to the house after the challenge, Wes tells John A that because she dared to go against what he wanted in the last vote, the whole house has decided to vote them in and that she just didn't understand he was running the house, you know, and she should know her place. Yeah, I can see why people used to think Wes was a dick. Oh, God, it was us. Oh, oh, my God, that's Leroy. So you sleep with every night? Leroy. Oh, God, no. Oh, damn. I can't do the King Kong. I'll come. Uh, I'll come. Jen, I'll, I'll, can I come through? Adam, don't lose your hair over it. It's all right. You can come cuddle. All right? Oh, my God. Johnny, Leroy, I can't do it. If you don't get out of bed and sit down there right now. I'm going right now, man. Get the always on that And stop shaking my bed. <laughs> Listen, now not only do you keep me awake, you're <laughs> blocking this guy out. You're snoring. Sorry, man. Right? <laughs> now, I don't know how. I don't. But some way, somehow, Jen wants to sleep with Adam. And Adam, this dumbass, is freaking out, running around the house right now, trying to get, like, pep talks or something. I don't know, from Evan. But, bro, get in there. What are you doing, man? Get in the damn room. He's, like, running around like he's, like, a little teenage boy or something. Like, what do I do? What do I do? Get in there and get naked, you idiot. <laughs> Wait, you and Adam kissed? Us? No, like I mean, like oh, like I like, like hopped in his bed and like kissed him and like what? I didn't do anything. This is just like challenge okay. fun. Like I'm killing time. Like you are in love with me, so it's fun for me. Like, <laughs> we want to know how you approach this situation. We didn't. So like, okay, okay. no, but did you put the tank top up or down? Uh, We're just I, put, I pushed the bra up. Okay. Okay. It's Adam. Adam's the horniest, weirdest, creepiest guy ever. <laughs> She's like really apprehensive about all the action. You know what that means? So she actually likes you. Like, I have to be to the point of blackout. Tell me what I did to even kiss the guy. Uh -huh. All right. Like, you could, you guys, you guys could be like in a serious thing. Now you're making fun of it, but like, I actually do like this girl. You guys, are, you guys are like making fun of me. He's just getting more than I thought he could get. Yeah. Which I was impressed. Nothing sober. Come on. I've liked Jen since I met her. I've always liked her. That's awesome, man. I mean, you know, do you? I do. For him to even think that he's like a step closer to like getting there, <laughs> not gonna happen. Oh. Okay. Well, um, that's rough. Uh, Jen is just trashing Adam to the other girls. Meanwhile, he's over there thinking he might actually have a shot. But like, let's be honest here. She's doing that because she's embarrassed about hooking up with him because Adam's not one of the cool guys or, like, the hot guys, like Kenny or CT. She'd never say things like that about them. And I'm just confused as to, like, why would you even hook up with Adam if she was going to act this way about it? You know, it doesn't make any sense. And if Adam was in such a creep, I'd kind of feel bad for him. But, like, he's weird, too, so it doesn't really matter. What up, Teach? What's up, guys? What's going on? How you doing? Good. All right, well, I need to see Sarah and Caitlin and John A and Jasmine. Right now? Right now. This is so weird. Everyone's like, wh what is he doing here? OK, girls, uh, here it is. Caitlin, <laughs> Sarah, Jasmine, John A, I need to take two people with me. 
one from each team. And you guys got five minutes to decide who that's going to be. So get it done. But then, out of nowhere, TJ shows up to the house and asks the two pairs of girls going into elimination, which one of them would like to come with him? One girl from each pair, like one from each team. And the whole house is like, what the fuck's happening right now? Because TJ never comes to the house unless something's wrong. And Caitlin and Jasmine end up going with him. That's the right one? No, that's Correct. what I'm saying. I know I can finish the drill. And you know I, mean? I know I can beat her. Dude. You know you can beat me at what? Everything. At some stuff, I think. I could beat you at some stuff. And as you can see, Sarah is quite confident in her abilities, but you never know what you'll get on the challenge. Now, earlier today, I came and got Caitlin and Jasmine. I know everybody here is wondering what the hell I did with them, right? Well, you're looking at them. <laughs> Those girls are buried underneath all this stuff. Tonight, you girls are playing unburied. So we learned that TJ took the other two girls and buried them under all of this random shit here and dirt. So the other two have to dig them out and then complete a puzzle together. But the catch is, TJ hasn't told them which pile their teammate is under. Oh, sounds good to me. Sound good? Good. I can't help but sit here with a huge smile on my face because I love puzzles. Caitlin loves puzzles. If there ever were a team that could do this well, it's ours. If we win and... Excuse me. When we win and come back to that house, we're going to come back to this a stronger team and a team that will fight for our spot here. and it's not Caitlyn. Means I gotta go dig her out of the other one. Let's go, Sarah, get after it, babe. Oh my god. Okay. Come on, John, come on! <laughs> okay. Bottom, bottom, bottom. Ow. Oh my god, this is hot! Ah. Damn, dude, TJ really fucking buried under there. Buried them, uh, fucking Jesus. But, uh, Sarah, she's able to get Caitlyn out first, so they have a nice little time lead going into the puzzle. And since she's so freaking smart, they should easily win. Top of a smaller one. The puzzle is a puzzle I have seen a hundred times before. Essentially, you have to move the blocks around and get the blocks in the exact order that they are on the one post to the farthest post away. I could probably do this puzzle in my sleep. It has to be exactly like big, small, little, all the way to the top. <sighs> Put that small one over here. I suck at puzzles, but I know Janae is really good at this, so... She just tells me what to do, what to move, I'll do it. Get that off, put it on the far one. For Sarah and Caitlin, and I'm a little concerned, but I'm gonna stay confident in my partner. Like, we can win this. We still have a chance to win this jungle. Grab that one off. There you go, bring it in there. There you go, babe, there you Perfect. go. Whoa! No, you got it, Sarah. The little one on top of this one. I have a gut instinct, and when Sarah starts moving some of the smaller pieces around, I start thinking, no, this is, this is wrong. But Sarah seems really confident, and I doubt my gut feeling. Go. Go. Sarah, just because you're really good at something doesn't necessarily mean that you're the best at it. And that's what you get for counting your chickens before the eggs hatch, or whatever the fuck that saying is. Sarah out here looking like an idiot, a cocky idiot at that. And now, uh, now her and Caitlin are headed home. And not gonna lie, I thoroughly enjoyed that. I don't know why, but like, I never really liked Sarah. I always thought it was kind of like a fake positive person, you know? I don't know what it is. There's just something about her I didn't, I didn't like. I'm glad Johnny stole that money. Anyways, that is the end of the episode here. I hope you all enjoyed, and uh, have a good one. Alright, I'm not. He's gonna come back in with it.
Nobody even knows what would have happened, but it might have sounded, look at something like, kind of like this. <laughs>